at YouTube. I clipped this just to show off my thoughts on some upcoming content. If you want to check out the full video, please check it out in the card to the right. Otherwise, enjoy this short piece. Drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's get started. Zande character event. It's not Sandy. It's not Zandy. It's not Zand. It is officially pronounced Zande. I learned this the hard way and now you have to too. He's a new character. He is the only dark enchanter in the game at this moment. He's similar to Kuja that he's an offensive enchanter, but he's far more selfish and damage oriented than Kuja. In fact, I believe the only thing he does for the party is enchant. No uh, attack aura, no nothing else, but he does allow them to deal weakness damage. He does earth and fire damage as well. He's got big splash, slow build up, final villain vibes. He gets faster, his recast increases as the battle progresses and his stacks increase. Like I think it's every stack of his EX, his recast goes up by 10%. So he starts off with a really slow EX, by the, but nearing the end of the battle, he's casting his EX, I think almost every other turn. Don't quote me on that, I'm not too familiar with this kit. Just given the overview, per usual. Uh, he gets increased splash damage on one of his stacks, I think it's crit damage. Um, at stack 4 of his overhead is when the party enchant starts, so yeah, he's, he's really a, a build-up character. It's an interesting concept, and he's got other goodies as well. Uh, also on this event, Zande, I mean, not Zande, Zell is getting his EX, nope, his character boards, and we know for a fact now that he is going to be the LD on Zande's Lost Chapter. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into his skills because I'm not really familiar with them, but he's a damage dealer. All I know is don't use the skill 2 until his overhead is at, I think it's at 4 stacks or 5 stacks, but once you get the splash damage up buff and it changes from Quake to Quaga, I think it is, and that's when you want to start using skill 2. Otherwise, just build up your stacks with skill 1. <coughs> okay, anyways, the Lufenia. I have really bad memories with this Lufenia. It's super restrictive. The orb is deal dark damage, and it's deal dark damage in a similar vein to Ultimate Bahamut, in that you need constant dark damage. And this boss is pretty nasty. Now, the other similarity to Bahamut is that Zande makes it effortless, because once he's enchanting, any damage, it's just a damage. You just need to do damage and kill the boss and deal with the mechanics. Without him, it gets a little tricky. You need to keep the orb up long enough to push them past thresholds. And if you don't have a consistent dark dealer, let's say you don't have Vivi, and I'll go to Vivi a bit later, if you don't have Zande, and maybe you're relying on Realm only with her eight sketch summons, which is a huge limitation for Realm. You need to damage, uh, you need to out damage and get past these HP thresholds fast or else you're just gonna die to the orb. Uh, trying to, page my memory here i think they do yeah that's right they do 50k warrior of light hp shields that's very nasty and it's an hp shield like warrior lights ld so if you do hp damage that is below the shield value it'll just be zero no hp damage until you lower that shield and that's very <laughs> very annoying they have a huge brave plus hp that hurts they have single target brave plus hps that hurt too and that's why beatrix is sending you here because their paladin's protection will prevent you from just getting blowing up also the defense up attack down the Beatrice is blah blah I think they uh they buff themselves too at some point so the dispel is handy they have big weakness damage modifiers I believe and that's to sell Zonde because he his uh, his hits on his skill too I believe aren't very hard that's one of the biggest complaints I've heard from people that in the build up uh they have a, a phase where they turn red and they can delay you, I, I think, too. Vivi will be a godsend here for the damage check and maintain the Dark Orb because he can just go ham and knock them below the threshold. And he'll provide enough dark damage. I don't I don't know how his follow-up will interact with it, but it'll be good to see. And you can pace yourself with probably one Vivi LD in the beginning of the fight and two near the end just to make sure that they die. Uh, you're going to want Diablo Summon and a Zonde friend, especially if it's getting really tight. Or if you like have Clouds Burst or Lightning's Burst, for example, you can destroy them within that. You might not even need a Zande friend. Again, Realm is going to show her limitations again. And this is what I talked about way back in my uh, my Realm is not the prize video. Where Realm, while she can fit uh, element orbs, you need to really maximize. And Realm, Realm's more like a pocket example, but she won't carry you through it with just her dark damage. You need more, you need strategy if you're going to use Realm for this. But uh, again, if you have, if you do pull Zande, please put him up as a friend. You will be doing a service to everyone. Uh, there was something else I wanted to mention, but I can't think of it, so I'm just going to keep going. 
I think I'm going to be able to run Warrior Light, Karen, and Vivi. I might swap Karen for uh, Cloud, maybe, so I can use his burst again. Uh, but I like the Warrior Light, Karen combo, and Vivi will get steroided up by their battery and their uh, attack auras and regen auras and the like. Uh, is that it for the fight? Yeah, they, they got the Warrior Light shields are really the nastiest part. Uh, Zande's a good character. Uh, for the challenge, I don't quite remember any difficulty, but again, I had Beatrix, LD, and Cloud LD, and a 0-3 Ico in JP. Uh, here in Global, I'm going to run a 0 out of 3 Ico, a potentially 0 out of 3 Beatrix, but if I get stuck here, I'm just going to purple her because I have enough ingots laying around and Burst Cloud, but hopefully Burst Cloud is enough to carry me through this. Now getting on to polls and my analysis, future review, oh, God, yeah, this section's rough, <laughs> ironing out. When the next video comes around, I'm going to skip Zonde. I was going to pull him because I like the concept behind his kit. And I hate this Lufenia. It took me days to do this with my Rome, Garnet, and Beatrix team and JP. And there's a video along that that I tried to follow. And I had such a hard time. And it was really down to the wire. Not a fun time. It's really hard without him. But the Vivi curveball means I can probably get through this without pulling on Zonde. He's a great character. His slow buildup is a downside. But near the tail end of battles, he can really wreck with huge damage. Especially if he's enabled via brave damage up and other stuff. And bringing in Enchanter, who's also in the DPS slot, is uh, actually pretty solid roll coverage. Uh, future usefulness, he's going to be helpful in the upcoming boss rush and the Divine Alexander. Lufenia, just not 9's lost chapter because his fire damage gets countered. He brings earth damage, which is good for guys, Lufenia. Fire damage, which is good for transcendence too. And AoE damage orbs. There's probably some stuff I'm forgetting, but he actually has a lot of coverage and he's filling the damage dealer role. So he's actually pretty easy to build around. Vivi doesn't exactly replace him. Zonde does not kill your team. Uh, Zonde has more consistent damage where Vivi kind of works at a tempo and you gotta... Vivi's team building is a bit limited. You need to account for his damage. Whereas Zonde, you just plop him in a team with probably other uh, non-elemental damage dealers as four characters and you got a good team. Really, their only, only similarity is dark AoE damage. And what Zonde has over Vivi as well is that he has consistent AoE Brave Shave. Whereas Vivi really only has AoE Brave Shave on his EX, LD, and LD follow-up. If you're doing fire, you're doing focus, or you're doing double fire, then Vivi isn't a consistent AoE shaver, which proved problematic in stuff like Rude's Lufenia. His armor, his DPS armor, must have if you're planning on running him. Am I forgetting anything else for this fight? I don't think so. Alright, yeah, let's keep going. Alright, hope you enjoyed the clip. Please drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Please be sure to check out the full video in the card and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.